It's a sense of helplessness because it does seem like the cards are stacked against you. Canadian government still refuses to call for a ceasefire. The American government vetoed a resolution at the UN Security Council calling for a ceasefire. There's the, there's the helplessness that comes along with being just physically very far away. And again, the guilt that comes along with the fear of speaking up in, in a university setting. I think I feel let down primarily by people that spent the last 20 years uh, building goodwill post 9-11. We've spent time in this country, we've grown up in this country, raised, raised in this country. Uh, it seems like that's all been thrown, thrown away. It does kind of feel like you're being betrayed in some sense. No one on social media or U of T or Canada or the US is helping. If anything, they're making it worse. I, th I, don't, I don't think most people stand with genocide and, and you're taking such a neutral stance on a genocide. Still trying to grapple with you know, what, what comes next for Muslims in Canada if we can't even get something as simple as this. You weren't elected to not listen to your people. Your people are speaking to you. Your people are demanding a ceasefire. And it's just so baffling that that demand is not being fulfilled. As countries that are Israel's allies, economically, militarily, um, pressure them, force them to stop killing people. If we, if we were to go out and march, we're the ones who are being put on put on trial because apparently being against genocide is being pro-terrorism. And that's not hyperbole, literally criminalizing support for, uh, for Palestinians, actually calling for a ceasefire internationally um, would be something I think would be the bare minimum really.